With a yo ho ho, it's Tilda Toe, so welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11. We're going straight back to the riverbank because that's where our next big, big practice sesh is about to take place. For some reason, Timmy was overlapping everybody there. It's as if it's the Timmy Zuma 11 in a Timmy 11. It doesn't really work, does it? Let's just head back to the football pitch. Hey, up, Millie, how are you doing? We're just gonna phase through you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> then stand at a perfect square. You guys have been here every day. Are you here to train with Mr. Sweet again? We are. I think if you say no, then you have the option of playing a full-on practice match with her again, but it's too late for me to find out now. Jack's form of practicing is just him getting a football straight to the chest. Yes, that's enough for today. Let's get plenty of rest for tomorrow. Gee, that was so much practice. I think we've really upped our game with all this training. We're about to win tomorrow after all this effort we put into training. Let's head back to school. Yes, yeah, school. We can't have been practicing that much if school's still going on. Let's see if we can finally perfect this thing. And they're just going to watch in plain sight. Nobody's going to notice, of course, but maybe. Because it won't be quite the same as Axel's. Yeah, he really is something special. Something special. I can't believe the amount of times I'd ended up watching that program by accident on CBeebies. Here I go! Um, pretty impressive. He... He did it! W wow, amazing. That was so cool! I know, right, Kevin? Did you see that dragon? You did it, Kevin! I did it! I knew I could compete with Axel! I did it! Ah, oh. you boys did well together. But don't forget your opponents won't play like a teammates. Be prepared. Don't worry, Mr. Sweet. We got the Dragon Crash on our side now. Hmm, well, I'd be surprised if the match goes that smoothly. What? No, nothing. There's one more thing I have to tell you. Did you see that lightning symbol under the bridge? That symbol indicates a place where you can get special training. Special training? What do you mean? You can use your prestige points to level up your abilities. You should give it a try if you have any prestige points. Yeah, prestige points is basically money in this game. And whenever we see one of these lightning bolts, we can spend money to enhance our human capabilities. They're basically steroids. My what? Uh, oh, uh, never mind. Well, I'm afraid I've taught you everything I can now. Good luck with your match tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Sweet. We'll beat a call, I promise. All right, lads, back to school. Now we need to go to the training bar. Oh, oh, I want to use the lightning bolt. Finally, it's the day of the match. Kevin, let's show them the results of our training. Yeah, let's just see how that little curse stands up to a dragon crash. Your shot yesterday was amazing. I want to learn a move too. Mr. Sweet told us about the training. When you finish getting ready, let's speak to Sylvia. Right, so, I mean, we could go all the way back to the park and try out that training facility, but I'm sure we'll get to... Well, we're going to be going back to the park enough times throughout the LP. I'm sure we'll get to show it off then <laughs> instead. Let's just have a little wander around the school before we actually get to the occult match. <laughs> yeah, this girl is a bit behind, but there's a new treasure chest in the room. Only containing a cookie bar. You know, I'd really like to try a cookie bar. Because just normal supermarket cookies. I'm not to... Ooh. Cat near the tower is gnawing on something. Looks like the key for the athletics club room. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Vow <laughs> to crush the club, no matter what it takes. Uh, but, um... Like, cookies from supermarkets, they're not that great, but freshly made cookies are just so incredible. I do 
I am left to wonder what a cookie bar tastes like. Anyone who's ever had one, please tell me. Is it worth trying to find one? I don't think I'm exactly likely to import one, but there's a bit of backstory. We actually get to know the meaning behind a cult in case you didn't know it before. That Celia from the newspaper club is quite the studious one. She comes here to read quite frequently. Too bad she has to be so loud. That's pretty much your entire basis of a person, isn't it, Cathy? Do they like reading? Score one. Are they quiet? No, 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 no! Ding, 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 bad person. <laughs> right, well, anyway, we're going to walk out of the club room in very slow manner. I thought he was going to jump the fence for a minute. Oh, dear. Well, these guys like purple. I'm just trying to see Sylvia. You think we're the... You think they're from a cult? Well, they're not very hidden. Must be. They certainly stand out. Hmm. Football isn't about how cool you look. I'll teach them that. Are you sure you're fit to teach that? I mean, you've kind of just been trying to out-cool Axel for the whole game now. But, um, I guess it's about time we just go and went and spoke to Sylvia, you know? We've, we've wandered around enough. There's a random battle. I'm sure that it won't be much longer before I start cutting these out. But seeing as we're playing against the Athletics Club, maybe the first thing we should do is speak. I mean, to try and find the Athletics Key. But meanwhile, this is Steve's special move, the rolling kick. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It makes the ball spin a bit. And it's it's really that bad. A goalkeeper was able to just punch it away. Timmy doesn't have anything of the sort. He is a defender, so he's not likely to be learning a shooting move anytime soon. And yet it was somehow better than Steve's rolling kick. It just make Steve feel really bad about himself. Beat his special move with a regular kick from a defender. Yep. Great way to put people down. I'm going to meet you at the tower. You must be the captain, Mark Evans. We're looking forward to the match. <laughs> I curse you. Right, lads, where are you? What did we come here for again? We came to stroke this cat. Well, not, not that cat. Who are you? I fixed my bike. I didn't want to break it again. Okay. <laughs> now, he's done a good job of fixing that bike because it is an immovable object. There is no way we can get past it. And now we're fighting the cheerleading club for the first time. The most threatening of all the clubs. Kevin's knackered. I need to heal. There is a heal spot in the tower. And to be honest, I don't think I've used a heal spot before. So I might as well demonstrate. Get a gold past Costella. He didn't even try. Go back to Castelia City, young man. Only not even two minutes passed before the Mood Breakers were gone. It's quite a nice name for a cheerleading squad, I guess. The Mood Breakers. Right then, cat. Here, take it! Yes, we've got the Athletics Club key. Guess where we can go now, huh? No, oh, you got what you wanted. But look at this. We've found one of these special training spots. Might as well use it on Kevin. It's for the sakes of increasing kick power so we've used 80 prestige points to kick a few spiders out of a tree <laughs> yeah i mean i'd love to spend 80 quid just to smash some insects out of the tree uh let's give steve a bit more power because clearly he needs it <laughs> the rolling kick was just that bad but uh you can you can keep upgrading the kick stat quite a lot but it costs more money every time. As I shall demonstrate, it now costs 90 points to upgrade Kevin, and that will escalate more and more with every use. Right now, I don't have that much money to be playing around with, so I'm just going to leave that tree alone and instead just explore the place. La 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 la, oh yeah, la 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 la. Are you listening to my song, boys? Well, you have a face, Sprite. <laughs> well, oh, oh, that's a heal point. You can use prestige points to fully recover, but it costs 140 of them. Well, that's the first time we've ever used it, and it costs that much. 
just to heal. Oh, this guy is also the special guy. He basically allows you to swap special moves on a player. I don't really have a use for him ever. But say we wanted to give Steve's rolling kick to Timmy, we could use him to make it happen. We could just switch them around. Uh, visit the special ta the tower because it's Mark's special place. Check out the view with all my mates because I only ever come here on my own. Right, well I think that's enough messing around. We better head back to the club room. Well, do you know what? Maybe I will just head down to the park real quick. Just do a, a bit more training. Talk to the Millie as well and all them. Yeah, let's do that. Steve got a goal! Steve got a goal! On the lazy go home club. I mean, that's... They're, they must be pretty good at football. Nice one, Steve. It is still impressive that he managed to get a special move in such a short space of time, though. It certainly looks acrobatic. I couldn't jump that high. Now, patrol, sir! It's my duty and utmost pleasure to protect the happiness of the people, sir! Why, thank you, sir! Ow. <laughs> yeah, you're not very hidden, mate. Not what the name would imply. <laughs> Skin and Bones is the sumo club. I guess I'll keep them on as well. Can Steve get another goal? No! Oh, oh dear, Mark, go and get it. Yeah, I, I was just... I was only leaving this in because I didn't think it was going to, you know, last very long. Uh, Steve! Come on, you need to be faster than that. Go on, Kevin. See how I tapped the goal before the ball actually got to Kevin? You can see that I tapped it because there's a little crosshair above the goalkeeper's head. Let's try out a header. More controlled than the volley. Still very powerful. Get it in there. That's it. Notice how we can't actually use the dragon crash yet. Minor annoyance, that. But yes, the dragon crash is actually off limits at the moment. Even though Kevin has pretty much mastered it. Cheerful as ever, I see. That's because we've just given a good bashing to the cheerleading club. <laughs> wow, come on, we're footballers and we can't even get past a bunch of footballs. A special training gaffer, but this one teaches us about the line. I haven't even addressed the fact there's three Mr. Veterans. And they're all brothers. Uh, which one was this? I think it was for stamina. Might as well upgrade Kevin here as well. Now it costs a hundred points. Still cheaper than healing the party, though. Ah, yes. Go on! Nice backflip. Okay, it was actually a kick. And this time it went up by two instead of one because we've trained it so much. And might as well give one to... Nathan! Nathan Swift! 80 points! Let's go! Gosh! Smosh! I'm not Smosh, but I do play games. <laughs> there we go. Okay, how about we actually head back on track? Let's see Sylvia in the club room. It's not that hard to see Sylvia in the club room. Uh, now they're facing us. <laughs> I skipped that line of dialogue before. Did you miss it? Oh dear. <laughs> now we can't go through the school. I thought that was going to be a tiny, teeny little... Well, not really a shot, but more of a long cut. Speaking of long cuts, here we go. No, I'm kidding. I'm not actually going to cut. We're going to see Sylvia in the club room. What's up? You ready, Mark? If so, let's start the match. Well, I think, although we haven't really achieved much in this episode, the last one was incredibly long, so we're going to get on with the match in the next one. Okay, ta up for now. One last thing, boys and girls, there is something left to do. We did get the athletics key, did we not? How about we explore the athletics key and the athletics club room? Is this one? So this is where Nathan's club room used to be. It does look a tad mightier than the football one. Long time no see, Evans. How have you been? 
it's been out of the blue, but what would you say to having me on your team? I might... And so, yes, for getting that key to this club room, we actually get a new club member. He's called Miles. Which is a, probably a bit of a pun. The same one that... <laughs> Miles Ryan, Miles Ran. He, he studies Braille. That's impressive. But Miles is actually an interesting player, besides the typical Miles Prower pun. Can't believe it took me until last year to understand that pun entails his name. But Miles is a boy in the dub. In Japan, he's a girl. He actually switches genders in the club, in the in the dub. Because on, only male players join your team in this game, and Miles is now one of them. I don't know if he even could join the team in the Japanese version. That's something I'm just... Not sure about. But yeah, Miles is a curious character and he even gets a bit of an episode in the anime about him and Nathan. Here he just, you know, is part of Nathan's club and now he's joined us. That's it. But he does get a bit of a role in the anime and we've got him on our team now. Will we use him in the match? I'm not too sure. I might as well stick to the story team. But it is still... A bit of information to know. So this has been Tale of the Toaster. In the next episode, we genuinely are going to be taking on the Occult Junior High. See you then. Oh, that's an example of more than one duel happening at a time. Bye!